goes a fist gonna clean him up. Olaf goes down. Everyone's just gonna line up here for Lazzy. He's gonna find himself the Quadra. I give it to him. That's a kill. Priestley with the quad feet gets the ace. Available just spin to win all over. That game was insane. Hello Saints Nation and welcome back to the Saints Gaming CA Twitch channel. We're about to get underway, of course, with our second match of the night as we have Concordia University Ann Arbor up against the St. Clair Saints here at St. Clair College, of course. My name is Dan Banner, going to be your host, observer, and producer here tonight for this matchup. So we hop into Garrison Hardpoint, very similar to what we started off with in the last series. Of course, Saints coming in hot after a fantastic series earlier versus EIU but now we got to see Concordia and how can our Saints hold up against them of course uh that first matchup versus EIU for the Saints was basically what felt like a rollover but at least it got the, the Saints firing on all cylinders as we do see them getting right back into the swing of things it's gonna be of course Lavelle and uh Susnado and now Brandon find themselves a couple eliminations here as they look to try and control this hard point nobody really getting a hold Hang a bit as of this moment, kind of left in the open, considering how awkward it is to try and actually grab a hold of this this point. As we see, this, uh, that was Lavelle trying to get a, at least a piece of it, but he is going to get taken down. So it is going to be uh, Concordia able to get at least a couple points on the board. Saints getting a little bit more, but nothing too crazy. Not much of a gap to really have to worry about. That being said, Priestley going to be the first one onto the point, but he's going to get fragged out instantly as it's going to be Wonks who takes him down. Of course, Wonks, Python, DX Hunter, and Big Nutter Butter on the side of Concordia University and Arbor. And of course, starting lineup for your Saints squad with Priestley, Brandon, aka Lavelle, and Sauce Nato. Gonna try and get the breach onto Wonks here. Brandon trying to lead the charge here for the Saints. And it actually lured him right into Priestley and Sauce, who just absolutely mowed them over. So beautiful play from the Saints there to get in control. Get some points on the board now. They're in control and in the lead of this for the time being. Brandon has to be careful. He doesn't want to get smoked out by all of these grenades. Has to watch out. DX Hunter right there. He's gonna have to jump out of the out of bounds to basically try and contest that. Does hold it for a little while, but he is going to have to uh, give it up in the end. Priestley, where the next hard point is going to be. Hanging on, does spot big nutter butter. Get some pieces of him, and actually there goes uh, Python as well, and Sauce and Brandon are here from the flank to completely sweep through and clean up that point. Brandon going to just hang on to the points, and everyone else going to make a run for it. Priestley finds DX Hunter and Python. Priestley was absolutely on fire in the last game before, of course. Nearly, I think, 50 eliminations by himself in the final matchup of uh, of control. But of course, all the Saints are absolutely on fire as we see Sauce Nato picking up a double, causing a bit of a storm for himself. Absolutely. Yeah, the uh, Concordia squad are not going to be able to contest this. They do take down Sauce, so they do get something. But Lavelle catching big Nutter Butter, missed a reload, and then finds Python as well. Huge, huge eliminations here to possibly break open what would be for this next point. He's going to look for a third and spray and pray point blank. Might as well get it done. Whatever works, it may not be pretty, but make it happen. It's going to be Wonks, who's going to be the first one on point. Priestley, the closest to try and contest them here. As Sauce looks for a double, not going to find it. Duel here for Priestley. He's going to be able to take down Wonks. And now Saints have control of the point for at least a moment, but not for very long. It's going to be forced over to Brandon to try and hold on to this. He's going to walk in almost into a nade. Just dodges that just in the nick of time. And on by a thread, we see, of course, the player is right nearby. Brandon's not going to fall for it. Wonks goes down. So lots of time here on this hard point too, and Saints are really pulling away here in this hard point matchup. 120 compared to 36 right now. Concordia University really, really hurting right now. Granted, they're trying to get something started here, finding themselves a couple eliminations. Priestley does go down, Wonk's getting himself a bit of a revenge kill, and then DX Hunter getting on the board, taking down Brandon. But with the new points in play, that was actually a big kill there for Wonks. It's going to allow the Concordia University squad to get to that point first. Can they set up in time, however? It looks like they actually got a bit of a hold here now compared to some of these pass holds. 
Like actually got a proper defensive positioning, and they should, in theory, be able to sit on that point. They weren't for at least a little bit, but they did eventually make sure that somebody was on that point, and they're going to be able to at least start building up a little bit of a scoreboard. I saw Snado finds himself one. Brandon going to get himself another. Eventually does go down, but it's enough damage done to the point where the Vel can hop onto the to the point and be A-OK -okay until the sneak attack coming out from Wonks after a bit of a awkward spawn. Gonna allow Python to have some points for at least a second. Lavelle from the side gonna take one. Does look for Wonks as well. But the point is basically exhausted as of this moment, so it's going to be Priestley over here alongside Saucinado to try and get onto this next one. But Wonks is on a killing spree here. Dix, Hunter, and Python finding themselves a couple of eliminations as well. Lavelle tries to retreat, but he's not going to be able to do so. Refrag to Wonks, however, as Priestley finds him there. Sasnado, oh, unfortunately there. I think the trophy system just betrayed DX Hunter, which is going to allow Sasnado to have control of this point. Brandon and Lavelle are nearby as well if need be. So Sas jumps forward, looks for big Nutter Butter. Not quite going to find him though, runs out of ammo, and it's going to bite him in this spot. Of course, you need ammo in order to actually win those duels, and it's going to be rather brutal when you dry up like that. Nobody currently on the hard point. Ten seconds left on it, so not the most prioritized as of this moment. Sasnado looking to just get a couple extra points before the switch. But looking at this next point, we see Brandon and Lavelle already here. Going back over to this point that we were at a little bit earlier in the game. And they're going to be able to get this right from the beginning. Priestley is going to be able to take down Python. Big Nutter Butter nearby as well. Does he find him on the, the catwalk? Hangs on, though. Doesn't quite get taken down. Priestley looking for the duel. He's actually going to be able to turn this one around, and he's been able to deny this entrance to the point. Even when he's getting peppered at, he's still managing to get some damage done. Taking down three before finally going down. Saints, of course, on pace to take this one rather convincingly. Nice little shot there from Priestley. Lavelle charging forward. Looks for DX Hunter. Back and forth battle. He's not going to be able to find that one, however. And it's going to be up to Priestley to just hang on to this point for the last couple seconds. Of course, 10 seconds remaining. And it's going to be Brandon already on the run, ready for this next point. Priestley going to try and get as much as possible. He's going to be able to get the remainder of this point, so nicely done. Making it so that the Saints can actually win if they hold this next point to its fruition. Actually, even a little bit less than its entirety, so nicely done there. Sauce going to find himself a double, going to make things really interesting here for the side of Concordia. University Ann Arbor as they are just constantly running into the line of fire regardless of which path they try to take it seems like sauce has eyes on it does end up getting a double DX hunter finally gonna shut him down and they do shut down Priestley as well so they could possibly find an opening to sneak on through but Brandon is ready he's waiting there already aiming down in the right angles and sauce NATO looking to possibly pushed onto big nutter butter and it's going to be successful everyone from the Saints find themselves on the kill feed this time, and now, that's going to be game. A perf, or not a perfect, but a very, very convincing hard point win here on Garrison. Once again here for St. Clair, as they're going to take this in uh, 250 to 78 fashion. Of course, big, the big play here. Wonks find himself a lot of kills here on that hard point, and that was where they were able to get themselves at least a little bit of points on the scoreboard. But for the most part, that was essentially St. Clair domination. It was a nice job on the Saints side of things. Now, of course, we get to go to Moscow, search and destroy. And I know I was talking about it in the last matchup that we had a little bit, of, or a couple, uh, like an hour ago, but search has not necessarily been... Saints' is strong point so far that we've seen in the preseason, the kickoff tournament, and then um, just getting started now into this season. That being said, up against EIU, it was 6-1 uh, to one on the favor of Saints. So they may have been able to turn things around, but, uh, but we'll have to see with Concordia. Concordia was fighting back and forth much harder compared to the... The last squad last time, but that's not going to uh, 
the stick anyway. As about halfway through, it just looked like it fell apart for them. So, unfortunate there for the Concordia squad. But hopefully for Search and Destroy, they can pull through and tie this series up. Otherwise, we could have ourselves the opportunity for the Saints to find uh, two three O's in a day. That would definitely be one way to start the, the CCL season. But we're just in the midst of getting lobby ready for game number two. So I know it felt like we just got started, but we're going to take a very quick break to throw the lobby together. And then we'll be right back with game two of action here between Concordia University, Ann Arbor, and St. Clair College.